Imagine you were in southern Siberia last December, enjoying your time in one of the most beautiful places in the world, the Altai Mountains. You might be wondering why I said that. Well, in that place and in that month, a rare and wonderful phenomenon has occurred. It is the rainbow clouds, also known as cloud iridescence. My name is Insafa Janet and today I would like to give you a brief overview of this natural and amazing phenomenon, the cloud iridescence and its relation with light diffraction. Galileo invented many mechanical devices other than the pump, such as the hydrostatic balance. However, his most famous invention is the telescope. Nevertheless, he had a problem with the color distortion of the image he was observing through the telescope until the scientist Huck Newton appeared. He studied the color distortion of the telescope pictures. So he made a small hole in his room window to allow light to enter through it and fall on the opposite wall, creating a spot of light. Then he placed the glass transparent element, which is called the prism, near his window. This produced the stretched image of the sun, which was mainly white, but featured a blue upper edge and red lower edge. Prism experiments made by Newton is used to show that white light consists of a collection of all the colors in the spectrum. Using an experiment that everyone can do, let me explain to you the components of light. All we need to do is have a sunlight and then place in front of it a compact disc and see the magic. We realized that in the beginning we had a simple white light that turned into a beautiful rainbow, layers of seven colors. This concept is called light diffraction. As we have seen in the experiment, when light diffracts is curved around very small objects. These objects can be compact discs as we have seen before and they also can be water droplets or ice crystals that a cloud contains. Diffraction disperses light waves into a circle light pattern of colors around the droplets. When we have a lot of light scattering around the outside of a cloud, this light spreads out forming what we call the rainbow clouds. The types of clouds that iridescence occurs in are ones that are high up in the atmosphere. Moreover, the closer the sun is to the cloud, the stronger the iridescent colors. What makes of it a real phenomenon is that it happens when a cloud is filled with micro water droplets. So, when sunlight passes through the cloud, it encounters those micro water droplets. Then, that sunlight diffracts giving us as a result this fascinating phenomenon, the cloud iridescence. Overall, Earth is a painting for us. Day after day, we discover the truth behind pictures of infinite beauty.